So in this module, we're concentrating on trade policy. So the first thing we should talk about is kind of what determines whether a country is importing or exporting a good. So the determination of trade patterns. So the first thing we should talk about is this idea of the law of one price. And this is the law or, or theorem that when there is an easily transportable product, when an easily uh, transportable product um, is internationally traded, arbitrage will guarantee um, a single world price. Oops. A single world price. Okay, so this is, um, this is this law of one price. So when we have a product that we can easily transport, so maybe the transportation costs are, are fairly low, um, but also it can be transported. If it's internationally traded, this arbitrage is gonna make it so there's only one kind of prevailing price around the world. Because um, if there isn't, then someone would take that product from one place and, and transport it easily to another and sell it there. And, and so eventually, you know, there should be no gains from being able to do that, so we just have one single world price. And so what determines trade patterns is if your domestic price or your autarky price is below or above um, below or above this one world price. So when I say autarky price, I mean the price of, if Canada, for instance, didn't trade with anybody. So compare the world price. This is this one price that we are talking about here, and we're going to denote that PW, P subscript W, this is a W right here, um, with Canadian autarky price. So again, autarky just means no trade, so Canada would just be producing everything themselves and, and um, not trading with other countries. And so kind of the rule that we have here is if the world price is greater than this autarky price. I'm sorry, I should be clear. This autarky price, we're going to be calling that PD. This is a D, subscript D. So if this world price is above this autarky price, then Canada is going to export this. On the other hand, if this world price is less than the autarky price in Canada, then Canada will import this good. So let's quick, quickly erase this and take a look at two kind of graphs to maybe visualize what I'm saying here. All right, so let's draw two diagrams side by side here. So price and quantity on each of these axes and one we're going to show um, export and one we're going to show um, imports. All right, so Let's say this is the Canadian producer supply curve. This is the Canadian consumer's demand curve, and we'll do that for each of them. So again, this is about the domestic market in Canada, and this is their suppliers. And this demand curve is the demand curve from Canadian consumers. Well, if we had um, no trade, then where these two met would be um, the prevailing price and quantity in the market, right? So this is like the autarky price, which we denoted PD, and this would be the quantity in that autarky price, or that autarky market. And same thing over here, Q and PD. Now imagine that the world price is above the domestic price. So this would be Canada exports. 
Well, if this world price is above this domestic price, then this Q1 is how much Canadian buyers would demand at that price. And this Q2 would be how much Canadian producers are willing to supply at that price. And so the difference here is going to be the amount of exports. So we're going to have exports. It's Q2 minus Q1 is the amount of exports here. So when the world price is above this autarky price, this is how much Canadian consumers are going to demand at that price. This is how much they're going to uh, Canadian producers are going to produce, and the difference is how much Canadian producers will export. Now we could have another situation where all of a sudden the world price is going to be below. I should spell country's name correctly. Canada imports. So this is going to happen when the world price is below this autarky price. So at this price, this Q1 is how much suppliers, Canadian suppliers, are willing to supply at this price. Well, this is how much Canadian consumers want at this price. If I just, maybe a bit lower, this Q2. And so in this case, this amount here is going to be the amount of imports. So Q2 minus Q1 is the amount that Canada is going to import. So hopefully this gives you a better idea of a you know, visual um, idea of what we are saying in that, in that previous board.